Well, here we are in what we like to call the most wonderful time of year, the Medicare annual election period or AEP. You might just call it the Medicare open enrollment period and you might know it as just that time period. You need to do stuff. You got to change things. Well, I'm going to discuss what those things are, the easiest way to change them, as well as what time period you need to change them in. So stick around. My name is Russell Noga. I'm the founder of Metasubs.com, and this is now our 14th annual election period. We help people across the country with their Medicare insurance, and there's never a cost for our services. So no matter what state you are watching from now, we probably have the best option for you. So go ahead and give us a call anytime during this video. The phone number is down below. Certainly when you get done watching, go ahead and call us or visit Metasubs.com, where you can see the best options for your Medicare coverage. So I'll start with what are the dates of this Medicare annual election period? Well, they begin October 15th and end on December 7th. What changes can take place during this time? Well, the most popular change is people coming off of a Medicare Advantage plan and disenrolling from that and returning to original Medicare and then getting a Medigap and a Part D drug plan. So any of you watching who do have a Medicare Advantage plan, call us now so we can set it up. However, that change, you can disenroll from that plan on 10-15, and your new coverage back on Original Medicare and a Medigap plan will go into effect on January 1st. One of the big changes during this time that takes place, aside from that one, is this is the time period where you can change your Medicare Part D drug plan. That's right, you can check the different drug plans that come up. The, the new plans come out on October 1st from Medicare and all the different companies. And you do want to check that every year. Don't just assume if you're on a Part D drug plan that whichever company you're with is going to be the best option next year. Because these plans change frequently, the premiums change, and their formularies change, which means what they cover. So you absolutely want to begin that process and compare your Part D drug plan against the new plans that come out on October 1st. And again, October 15th is when you can make that change and the new plan will go into effect on January 1st. Now, another change that happens frequently during this time period, but doesn't have to be during this time period, is if you currently have a Medigap plan, a lot of people during this time frame will then shop and want us to show them the rates for Medigap plans going into 2022. Well, here's the thing. These plans don't necessarily go up based on calendar year. In fact, they really don't. And you can change your Medigap plan anytime during the year. Some of you are probably saying, oh, you mean I could have changed this six months ago when I got a rate increase? Yes, so we won't let that happen to you. We shop the rates every year for our clients. Make sure you're always in the lowest premium. However, in the event you're watching this, it's the, the annual election period between October and the end of the year, we can change your Medigap plan from a different Medigap plan anytime during the year. Now, this is also the time period where if you currently have a Medigap plan and you're exploring Medicare Advantage plan options, this would be the time period you can enroll in an Advantage plan. And again, that coverage will begin January 1st. Now, as well, a lot of people are retiring during this time of year. They're retiring January 1st. It just happens to fall into the open enrollment period. Well, if you're just coming on to Part B Medicare for the first time, forget the annual enrollment period for all the changes I'm mentioning. You get six months of what are called open enrollment period on your Medigap plan where there's no medical underwriting, as well as a drug plan. We can sign you up with that as well during this time period that you're coming off group coverage. So a lot of different options during this time period, but we make it easy for you. Just visit metasubs.com where you can get free online quotes there's never any obligation, but the easiest way is just to give us a call. We're here to help you now through the end of the year and next year and all the years to come. And you can just give us a call at the phone number below. It's 888-891-0229. Hope this helps you out as you are looking for the best Medicare coverage for this annual enrollment period. Do give us a call today. We look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye-bye.